Hello there, traveler. I am Leonardo McLeod from the Clan McLeod, and I bring to you some of the amazing tales that I gathered through my travels. So, please. <clears throat> Stay a while and listen. A little story. One day, Alice was sitting in the garden, listening to her older sister reading a book out loud. It was time to do the homework, and her sister talked about ancient Greeks while Alice's mind wandered. She was wondering if it was almost time for tea. She had a smell that the cookies coming out of the oven, and her stomach rumbled with hunger. She watched a little caterpillar climbing a blade of grass with its little body shrinking and stretching as it moved it over the leaf. What is it like to be tiny? Alice asked herself. Then she was tiny. In the blink of an eye, the garden had grown immensely and the lawn rose beyond her head. As if they were very tall trees, the little caterpillar, which was now the same size as Alice, waved its little antennas at her and kept going up. Oh my, Alice exclaimed, I need to go home. If I don't start running now, I will never make it in time for tea. And began to move through the grassy forest until she reached the garden walkway. The sidewalk, which used to be more than just a small elevation, now looked like a mountain. And the house wasn't even visible. I will never make it in time. Whoops! Suddenly, Alice felt that she was climbing up the side of the sidewalk. She looked it down and was surprised that three winds were carrying her on their backs. Pull me down, she ordered it, but the ants didn't even listen to her. With a slight twist of her body, she managed it to fall on the floor. The ants didn't even notice and kept moving. At least now I'm closer to home said Alice, looking at her home. Then she found herself facing an immense lake. How am I going to cross this lake, she wondered. But a huge leaf fell from a tree and landed in the lake right in front of her. Alice then climbed it on the leaf and let the breeze take her to the other side. I am almost there, she said triumphantly. But the next minute, a huge black bird swooped it and lifted her by the sleeves of her dress. She felt airborne. Ah, now I'll never make it to tea, she lamented. The next minute, her sister was pulling her dress sleeve. Wake up, Alice, you fell asleep again. With an exasperated sigh, her sister stood up. We are going to finish the lesson another day. It is time to come in and have our tea. Very relieved to be at her normal size, Alice accompanied her sister along the garden sidewalk to her house for tea. That is all for today, but there are always more amazing tales to tell. Before I leave, do not forget. First of all, if you're not part of the clan, hit the subscribe button to be part of it. Second, hit as well the like button to let YouTube know that these tales must reach others. That way, you can help spread them to the four corners of the realm. And thirdly, ring the bell icon so you can be notified of new tales to listen. Until then, may the gods of old guide thee in thy path.